All right, hello, Die Castle friends. How are you guys doing today? We got Cakey Snakey here, and we are going to do a uh, awesome, cool uh, video for you guys. Cakey Snakey, can you tell everybody, hey, sir? <laughs> Cakey Snakey, Cakey Snakey said he's not telling nobody nothing. Cakey Snakey, can you tell everybody, hey, sir? Look, he's trying to put, he's trying to put his cat paw. He's trying to put his cat paws on you guys. All right, guys, we'll be right back, man. I hope you enjoyed this video. Very cool stuff for you guys. We'll be right back. Kicks, tell them, hey. All right. All right. Hello, Diecast friends. What is going on, everybody? Hello. This is Brian, man. Good to see you guys here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So today, we're going to be taking a look at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 of my uh, Bone Shaker Hot Wheels Monster Trucks, guys. So, I still haven't picked up all of those um, C-Case yet. I'm waiting to get all the new models. And at the end of that video, I am going to uh, unbox that. Uh, super for you guys still also we got this uh, Sylvia here very cool stuff and I picked up uh, one of these trucks man I have been looking for that thing for a while and I finally just now found it let's see how my hair is doing today man uh, looking kind of wild and crazy all right family we appreciate you guys being here and I am actually doing this video for a good friend of the die castle that uh, requested a video of let me see what I got here one second guys let me go over to the shelf I can't remember I can't remember where I put it now but I had found another uh, grave digger for the collection let's see here I don't I don't think I'm gonna be able to find where I put that uh, truck at so anyway what I was saying is I did a video for a, a good friend of the Die Castle, and he requested to see all of my Grave Digger trucks. So I did a, a Grave Digger video for him, and we, uh, when I got into it, I realized that I had 41 uh, different Grave Diggers, and I did a video on that, guys. It's called uh, Boneyard, and uh, on the bottom of the screen, it says 41 Grave Diggers. It's a very cool video. I got a lot of chase pieces. And all my grave diggers that I have picked up over probably the last four or five years. So very cool stuff. So when a good friend asks you to do a video, you do a video for them, you know, because uh, that's kind of what uh, we're doing here uh, at the Die Castle. We are a, um, I'm trying to build a family, a family of friends. Uh, you know, I have this amazing collection and I want to share it with you guys. So if you guys want to see something, do not be afraid to ask. I will do my best to try to take care of you guys and to show you the things that you want to see. But anyway, to my buddy who requested this video after he wanted to see the grave diggers, he uh, wanted to see all of my bone shakers. So I am going to uh, respond to that request. And today we are going to be taking a look at all 11 of my Hot Wheels uh, bone shakers and the first one that we are going to start off with today Here is this one that has the uh, pizza delivery now this one uh, came out I think last year very cool model it had been re-released uh, several times But this is a very cool casting and I, I, I just love the overall colors and decoration on this uh, pizza truck So you should be able to pick this one up uh, very easily not too hard to find but it is definitely a, a very good very amazing uh, looking truck boom love the color love the colors man love how the white matches the 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 wheels and the red just very well balanced uh, monster truck that you should be able to get your hands on uh, fairly easy let's see if I can get these to stay for some reason my my ramp here has been wanting to uh, lean lately all right here we go one of uh, all-time favorite uh, classic uh, bone shakers. It's the black one with the uh, the red flames, the yellow and the red flames. Kind of got this uh, black, flat black uh, body. As you can see, some of these trucks are 
a little bit dusty. I've had them on that shelf I just showed you guys for uh, quite some time. But this is absolutely one of my favorite uh, all-time models. I think this is probably going to be one of uh, everybody's favorite uh, all-time models. Very cool uh, truck. And I believe that they made this thing also in a, um, a uh, 124 scale. Let's, let's look. Let's go look real quick, guys. Let's see. I think, I think that one's not too far away. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Wow. What do we got up here? Uh, no, where, ah, we go, all the way hidden, buried in the back, probably all full of dust, let's see if I can get out of here without falling down, I'm trying to, uh, crawl on my bed, as you see, I'm, I'm trying to wash my sheets, sometimes, uh, maybe the layout of the die castle is not the best, but I wanted to show all my bone shakers, so let's pull this one out, I think, I believe that I have uh, two other models of these 124 scale uh, bone shakers. Let me put these guys side by side so you can kind of get a real life uh, comparison of what we got going on here. Very cool trucks, man. I love the 124 scale models. I think that they look absolutely amazing and they really look good right alongside of the 164 scale models. Very cool stuff. All right, let's put him up here. I'm going to put him off. Actually, I need to put him off over here on the bed. And we are going to get back into these trucks. So next truck that we have, this one may be a little bit harder to find. As you can see by the little red line rings that this was part of a set. And this whole set was almost like a chase set because it only showed up, I believe, at O'Reilly's. And this was the uh, Moon Eyes uh, Bone Shaker. You can see right there, Moon Eyes Racing Team. Kind of have the black painted headers. They almost look like black chrome. I think that's just because they're very shiny. Very neat. You got the red line wheels. I thought that was awesome. That Hot Wheels started doing the uh, red line uh, tires on the uh, monster trucks. Very cool. Little The eyes there. Got the chrome uh, engine. Got the black roll cage. So just little chrome and black accents all over this truck. Make this truck look uh, absolutely amazing. And yeah, this one was difficult for me to find. I checked a bunch of O'Reilly's and I still think I'm missing maybe one out of the set. But I'm pretty good, um, pretty glad actually that I was able to find, I think, the four of the five that are available. All right, friends, next one we got here is this white and black. Now they kind of did this uh, white out or black out series, um, it's, I believe a year ago, maybe been two years now. Um, I can't really keep t track of time all that well. I got so much going on, but this is a older model uh, that they released. And I thought that when they did this white and black series that these trucks were very cool. So everything on the truck is white and black, as you can see. The, uh, the frame, the roll cage, the, uh, the rims, the tires, everything was just white and black. And I think they did several other uh, trucks. I know they did a Dragon. I think in white and black. Oh no, that's a that's Monster Jam. That's a Spin Master. But I think that there were other models that they did this uh, white out or black out on. So very cool uh, truck indeed. All right, guys, I'm already running out of room on my stand. I'm gonna have to just set them here uh, on the rug. So now this one, I don't remember what this came from. This might actually came from a multi pack or maybe a play set. This thing kind of is like a plum kind of um, purple. Got the little Hot Wheels logo. Got the flames down the side. The red matches real good with the red rims. The yellow frame. The chrome uh, motor and chassis on this. Show you guys the uh, artwork going on on the top. So just a very strange color. Like I said, almost like a plum. Very cool stuff. This one does look very good though. And I do like and enjoy having it in my collection. I can't remember where it came from. If you guys remember, let me know. Leave it in the comments. All right, put that one there. Let me move my camera down just a hair. So we are filling this up real quick. Now, this was a good one. This one came out this year. Now, this one uh, was like the shiny black with flames and the gold. Got the red flames with the red beadlock. The black with the black, the gold with the gold on the gold. Very well done little skeleton there on the top love the little uh intake stacks 
a little bone shaker face got the hands holding like the uh the light bulb look at the, the sharp teeth very cool stuff and here we got the uh, you can see we got the black frame very neat model so hot wheels was doing like these gold themed ones um i think i have a race ace truck that hot wheels did uh, with uh, this all gold and also the shark reek i believe that they did this with the uh, all gold rims and tires very cool stuff all right so what do we got that's six so we got seven eight nine ten eleven so we got five more trucks uh to review for you guys now this one was kind of wild here some very cool like retro 80s colors now this one was came from a glow in the dark uh multi-pack as you can see it has the uh the glow in the dark uh roll cage cool 80s styling like this uh lime green kind of like antifreeze looking color tennis ball paint highlighter marker whatever you guys would like to call it on top of these orange wheels which is cool because it matches the orange lightning bolt and the blue beadlock which kind of matches the blue hot wheels riding here on the side so even though it is kind of weird 80s neon colors it still kind of matches it pulls together in kind of its own uh unique way Let's see if i can get that face in there <laughs> very cool stuff like i said this was from a multi-glow in the dark pack very cool looking truck very nice model all right guys i'm gonna set him over there on the side next truck that we have the boom hot wheels now these were like the comic book uh graphic style trucks i believe very neat look at the uh the sun with the beams very kind of retro styling uh graphics like the little the, the back of these you know it looks like you got your battery and maybe your gas tank in the back because these are definitely like a uh, rat rod got the yellow checkers yellow wheels kind of this bluish purple kind of works in with this boom kind of uh logo on the side there very neat stuff what we got here a little uh, hot wheels monster truck very neat graphics on this one i don't know which mix or which pack this one came out of but also a very cool truck ah, ah, all right family i'm right back i had to take a quick break man get me some of that dollar gentral uh co that clover cola <laughs> man my throat was starting to get a little hoarse from uh from talking Oh, I need a little uh, swig of that cola. All right, here we go. So next truck that we have in this mix, I'm trying to decide which ones are the coolest. And all three of these last trucks that I'm showing you guys are probably the coolest. So I'm just going to grab one. Here we go. So we got this kind of Zaymac uh, silver truck. Look at the metallic sparkle in that thing. Very cool model. Now the graphics on the top of this one, one are uh, exquisite very neat stuff look he's even got a little gold tooth little gold like electric bolts coming out of the side hot wheels logo and now look we got the little electric lightning bolts going around the motor here all uh gold painted engine gold painted uh front of this guy and then we have these very cool white out bone skeleton wheels and tires followed by these rims that have these very aggressive spikes now i haven't seen these on any other model except this one i wish that they would put these on more models maybe they decided not to do these anymore because they were uh spiky but even though they're spiky they're it's hard for me to show you guys but they're rubber the little the little tips bend uh, it's hard for me to pick it up on the camera it's not want to focus when i put my thumb but you can see them they kind of bend very neat i hope they do more of this style rim i thought that looked uh, very cool so anyway just the overall look of this truck is absolutely magnificent with the with the white skeleton all right guys now my phone's wanting to die be right back all right guys i had to charge my battery and while i was doing that i had to delete a couple of files i was running out of uh, storage space on my phone but like I was saying, this truck is super amazing and cool. It's definitely uh, one of my favorite in the uh, the Bone Shaker uh, collection. Very nice truck, man. If you guys found this truck, let me know. I didn't see very many of this truck in the wild, but I think it is definitely uh, one of my favorites. 
All right, guys, now another one of my favorites is this guy right here, this bone shaker with the Hot Wheels. Look, he's got his little uh, mohawk there. Kind of got the vampire fang uh, teeth going on there, little Hot Wheels with the slash monster truck. So very cool graphics, but very simple done. Just a black, clean top. But what gets me about this truck is I really like the graphics, and I really love the maroon inside the bed. Uh, with the uh, white wall wheels and tires that say Hot Wheels going around. So I've seen like the uh, the red line style wheels, but I thought that this truck uh, was very cool, very clean, and just had a all around very nice uh, look and feel. So very cool model. Now the white wall of the tire looks really good with the white of the skeleton. So just those gradual little hints that they didn't overdo it, but they did it just right. So we got the chrome with the chrome, got chrome on the motor, and then we got the black with the black and the black top, bringing this truck all together to give it a absolutely nice look. Very appealing looking truck, and uh, the, uh, the uh, second most favorite truck that I have in my collection. Now, this might be your favorite, this might be your favorite, one of these in the background here might be your favorite. You guys let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. But this one right here is one that I picked up in a play set, I believe. And this one is my favorite. <laughs> this right here is the Bone Shaker with the goblins, man. Look, he's got his little goblin sword. You can see it's like made out of bone or something. It's all busted up. He made it out of... Uh, uh, the bones of one of his enemies or something you see all the little goblins in the background you see see their eyes and stuff very cool model just like all the goblins are like charging into battle very cool goblin green like frame look you can see like their backs or their wing or something going on in the back there on the top of this thing it says bone shaker got a little uh, bat little goblin bat face there you can see the uh, goblin sword says bone shaker and like this orange and red look you can see even all the little goblins in the uh in the background like they're underground in the cave <laughs> very cool stuff the wheels match very well we got the goblin green see how you have the little red accents and stuff kind of match this gold bead lock very cool look at the little horns very cool looks like he's wearing some kind of like goldish armor very well done truck i absolutely i absolutely love the little uh the uh bone shaker goblin truck i'm gonna give you guys one more view of all these trucks in this review you guys pick out and let me know in the comments which one you thought uh was your absolute favorite family all right here we go last look at all 11. we got three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and run. And eleven. All right, family. This is Brian with the Die Castle Man. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give that thumbs up like subscribe and we will see you next time fam all right guys have an amazing day peace we out